The very first time I ever noticed something was wrong was when I was eight, competing in a league swimming in the summer. About halfway through the race, I noticed my heart was beating faster than usual, and I became lightheaded and short of breath. At first, I just assumed I was overexerting myself, but then as I finished the race, I had trouble getting out of the pool because it felt like I was going to pass out. I couldn't breathe, I couldn't see straight, it felt like my heart was coming out of my chest. This is when my journey with Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome began. I never heard of Wolf Parkinson White disease before I took Nathan for a um, routine physical in the summer. He uh, complained to me of having his heartbeat was racing on two different occasions and when I brought it up to the doctor, I remember saying to the doctor, oh, you know, he complained his heart was racing. That's just part of, you know, normal adolescent growing up for boys and he said no that that's not normal and so then he said that he needed a EKG um, and he performed that right in the doctor's office and then a couple weeks later we had to go back for the results and then the doctor said that he had WPW which at that point I still didn't know what that was, but he told me to make an appointment with a cardiologist. My road to diagnosis was a relatively short and easy one compared to most. An EKG and an ECG, both of which showed the irregular waves associated with my disorder. However, I was one of the lucky ones. Because these tests are usually inconclusive, as most W. WPW patients are asymptomatic. My diagnosis was definitely affected my sister the most. When I found out I had Wolf Parkinson White Syndrome, we were told by doctors that it was familial, meaning it tended to run in families, especially among the siblings of those affected. Because of this, my sister had to undergo the same tests and procedures I did to rule out any chance of her possibly having this. I believe there are many athletes that may not even be aware that they have WPW because they have been asymptomatic thus far. Um, and you hear on the news oftentimes about athletes dropping over from sudden cardiac arrest. So it would, would be nice if schools have the AED on site. Um, once again, I was very fortunate that Nathan had symptoms when he was younger and did not actually go into cardiac arrest during one of his competitive swimming meets. Thankfully, I was lucky enough to catch WPW early. My only hope is, through raising awareness, that other athletes will be able to say the same thing. Nathan, I see.